Okay, now let's the, answer the questions about the section two. The first title is sound intensity and audibility. Question number one, uh, if distance from a point source, sound source is doubled, by what factor is the sound intensity changes? So uh, according to this question, there's a source, source, sound source, and here somewhere you measure the sound intensity. That distance is initial R. If this distance, and then you can calculate the sound intensity at that point by the equation, power of the source divided by four pi R squared. So according to this equation, sound intensity is inversely proportional to the square of the separation between the source and the point. If the distance is doubled, which means so normally i is proportional to one over r squared, but if the distance is doubled, so one over two r, if r becomes two r, so you are going to square it, it's going to be one over square root of two is four r squared. So if I rewrite this uh, proportionality, it means one over four multiplied by one over r squared, which means, Right side is multiplied by a one over four. The left side also must be multiplied by one over four. So which means sound intensity changes by a factor of one over four. The time rate at which energy flows through a unit area perpendicular to the direction of the wave motion is known as the wave intensity on the sound. Question number three. The sound intensity at a constant di distance from a source is directly proportional to, so according to sound and uh, intensity equation, P divided by four pi R squared. If power increases, sound intensity also increases. So it depends, it's proportional, directly proportional to power of the sound source. Question number four. Show the following factors change when the sound get louder. So louder means, so beta increases, which means I increases, which means we can increase the power as well uh, and the power increases. The power increases, amplitude also increases. So energy and amplitude are directly proportional to increases. So then uh, let's get it. This frequency, no, frequency is not about the power and, and the speed of the sound is depends on the medium. It's not about uh, to get louder, but intensity of the sound, I. So intensity of the sound increases and a louder sound means high intense sound, intensity of the sound also increases. Or if you want to make it sound louder, so then you should increase the intensity of that sound. Uh, which of the following factors will not change when a sound gets louder? So same question is asked, but this time will not change. Speed of the sound waves. So speed of sound wave, in fact, answer is this, because speed of sound wave only change with the medium, nothing else change can affect speed of a mechanical wave. Intensity changes. If intensity changes, decibel level changes. If decibel level changes, amplitude changes. So. Uh, all these three are related, but A is uh, about the medium. So if you don't change the medium, you cannot change the speed of the sound waves. And question number six, the area of air eardrum approximately five times 10 to the power negative five meters squared. So this is the area of uh, eardrum A. What is the sound power and energy per second? Incident on the eardrum when threshold of hearing is 10 to the power negative 12 watt per meter square. And you, uh, the intensity on the eardrum is 10 to the power of negative 12 watt per meter square. So what power arrives to this eardrum? So we are going to calculate this. You know that power of the sound is, but intensity of the sound is equal to power divided by area. So cross product, you can calculate the power at the eardrum, the intensity multiplied by area. Intensity is 10 to the power of negative 12. Area is five times 10 to the power of negative five. So when we multiply these numbers, we will get the answer as, here I have my calculator. 
and it's here. So let's multiply them. 10 to the power of negative 12 multiplied by 5 times 10 to the power of 5, negative 5. So it's going to be 5 times 10 to the power of negative 7. 5 times 10 to the power of negative 17, pardon. What? So it's going to be A. So question number 7. To change the sound intensity of a source by a factor of 1 over 3, the distance from the source must be changed by what factor? So uh, it's saying that if we know that uh, intensity is inversely proportional to the score of the distance. This time we want uh, intensity to be changed by 1 over 3. So I have to make sound intensity 1 over 3. If I will do that 1 over 3, I have to change the right side 1 over 3 as well. And it must be 1 over 3 uh, times r, 1 over r squared. So uh, now, no need to write 1 over 3 and 1 over r squared alone. So let's uh, combine them 1 over 3 r squared. We can write this one. But this time, r is only inside the. Uh, R is squared, but three is not squared. So if I dis make this uh, squared like this, so which number squared gets three? So if I do it like this, root of three R squared. Root of three R squared is three R squared. So that's why R must change by a factor of root Three. If r changes by a factor of root three, so then square of root three r, so it becomes three r squared. So then, which means it's one over three times one over r squared, which means how intense the changes by a factor of one over three. And question number eight: Which of the following is the unit of the sound intensity? What parameter square? We know about this. Question number nine: The loudest sound that you human here can tolerate, have an intensity about one watt per meter squared. Remember, it's known as threshold of pain, one watt per meter squared, threshold of pain. The intensity of spherical wave is equal to, equation for intensity is asked, which is equal to power divided by four pi r squared. This is uh, all about the first uh, title, Mr. Exam questions, sound intensity. I will continue with the relative intensity. Relative intensity questions in Mr. Exam questions. Uh, question number one, when the decibel level of a traffic in the street goes from 30 to 60 decibel, the intensity, noise intensity will increase by what factor? So is, uh, we can get it by a hack, remember, a beta final is 50 decibel. So final goes from initial to final. From 30 decibel, it goes to the 50 decibel. So intensity, sound intensity, noise intensity also increase, but not directly proportional, logarithmic. The heck was like this. You are going to get this five as the exponent of this 10 three as the exponent of that one. So it's going to be 10 to the power of five divided by 10 to the power of three. It will be 10 to the power of two, which is 100. So which means noise intensity will increase by a factor of 100 decibel, uh, by a factor of 100, sorry. Question number two, if the intensity of a sound is 10 to the power of negative three, what per meter square? What is relative intensity? Beta is asked. A question uh, for calculating beta is 10 logarithm. I over I O. Let's write the numbers. 10 logarithm. I is 10 to the power of negative 3. I O is which is the uh, threshold of feeling of the cell, softest cell, and 10 to the power of negative 12. So when you use the uh, calculator, you can use your calculator for calculating this beta, like this 10, after the press log bracket, 10 to the power of negative power of negative three divided by 10 to the power of negative 12, close the bracket, you'll get the answer as 90. So it is equal to 90 decibel only, use a bracket in here, 
when you are writing the numbers inside the logarithmic function, 90 decibel is the answer. When the traffic uh, level, when the decibel level of the traffic in the street goes from 30 decibel to 60 decibel, how much greater the intense noise? Again, the same. Uh, heck, we are going to use initial is 30 decibel, final is 60 decibel. So then we know that sound intense, noise intensity increases from initial to final. Well, how much increases? 10 to the power of 6 divided by 10 to the power of 3, which is equal to 10 to the power of 3. So 1,000. It is C. Question number 4. A baseball coach shouts at an umpire standing five meters away. So distance from the coach. Coach is the source here. He makes, he makes the sound source. And then listener is the umpire standing five meters away. So then distance from source to the umpire is five meters. The sound source produced by the coach is, yeah, it's given. Power is given 3.14 times 10 to power of negative three watt. What is the decibel level of the sound when it reaches the umpire? Calculate beta, question is asking, but first calculate I without calculating I. We cannot calculate the beta. I is power divided by four pi r squared. So let's write it. Power is 3.14 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative three divided by four times 3.14 pi is multiplied by r squared, r is five squared. 2.14 will simplify. Let's get the first the sound intensity. 10 to the power of a negative 3 divided by 4 multiplied by 5 squared, which is 25, close the record. So it's 10 to the power of negative 5. So sound intensity is 10 to the power of negative 5 watt per meter squared. But questions about beta relative intensity or decibel level. Beta is equal to 10 logarithm i over i. Oh, i is 10 to the power of negative 5. We just calculated it. So write it here divided by i o, which is the softest sound, threshold of you know the softest sound, 10 to the power of negative 12. So use bracket. It's going to be, it is, let me add it, 5, 7, 10 to the power of 7, 70 decibel. If you use the calculator, you will get the result as 70 decibel. If the decibel level of a sound is four decibel, what is the intensity of the sound? In here, we are going to also use a hack. Uh, I can be calculated by 10 to the power of beta, given beta minus 120 divided by 10. So it's, this operation will give you the exponent of 10. So 10 beta is 40 minus 120 divided by 10. So it is going to be, uh, 10 to the power of negative 80 divided by 10 is negative 8. 10 to the power of negative 8 watt per meter squared B is the answer for this question. And question number six uh, says that a noisy machine in a factory produces a decibel level of 8 decibel. How many identical machines sh should, uh, could we add to the factory without exceeding a 9 decibel limit? So set, the, uh, set by the federal regulations. I mean, initially, one machine produces a uh, decibel level 80, and initially it is 80 decibel, but we are going to add some more machines, and then we are going to make decibel level as 90. So we know that sound intensity is proportional to the number of machines running in this factory. That's why first let's get the uh, ratio between the final and initial sound intensity, which will give us the ratio of the running missions initial and finally. So 10 to the power of, we get the nine divided by 10 to the power of eight, which will be 10, 10 over one. Which means initially, if there are one missions running, which means finally there must be 10 missions running. This question says one mission, a mission, a noisy mission makes this sound. If initially there is only one uh, air noise emission, one noise emission, finally there must be 10 noise emission. How many must be added from one to 10? So you should add plus nine. Nine missions must be added. So finally you are going to get 10 missions and these 10 missions will produce a sound intensity, which is 90 decibel. So question is, answer is going to be nine. Nine missions must be added. 
Question number seven. A baseball coach shouts an umpire standing 50 decibel, five meters away with the decibel level of the sound when it reaches the umpire's seven decibel. What is the sound power for the spike coach? This is the reverse of that one. In the question number four. And uh, first you will calculate the sound intensity. And after that, you will calculate the power. So let's do it again. Okay, so that's all. I'll just first get what is I by using hack. I is equal to 10 to the power of beta is 70 minus 120 divided by 10. It was our hack to calculate the uh, sound intensity, which becomes 10 to the power of this is 50, 50 divided by negative 50 divided by 10, which is negative 5. What per meter square? So the sound intensity produced by that. Uh, that a coach is 10 to the power of negative 5 at the location of umpire. And now we use the equation for sound intensity to calculate with depending on power. Power 4 pi squared divided by 4 pi squared cross product. Power is going to be i multiplied by 4 pi r squared. i is 10 to the power of negative 5. 4 times pi is 3.14 multiplied by r squared r is distance is 5 but squared of 5 it's going to be uh, 3.14 times 10 to the power of negative uh, negative how much could I get it negative 3 i think so 800 is yeah negative 3 negative 3 uh, what so this is going to be d 7 answer of the 7 is going to be d and uh, eight, relative intensity at the threshold of pain, 120 decibel. At threshold of feeling, zero decibel. So at threshold of pain is 120 decibel. The value I O in this equation is 10 to the power of negative 12, which is the, uh, the sound intensity of the softest sound, which is the threshold of feeling of a sound at 100 kilohertz. It is 10, uh, 10 to the power of negative 12 watt per meter squared. So these are the answer of initial exam questions about section two of uh, the relative intensity.